Hey. Put your feet in. Kodak Black. You out of pocket, nigga. Fix that shit. Quickly. Expeditiously. Nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Ain't nobody else gonna say it, nigga. I done said it to you, nigga. And if I see you, I'ma say it in your face, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Get your motherfucking self together. This shit go for Kodak Black and any other nigga disrespecting my nigga Nip name. His legacy, his family, nigga. Keep my nigga name out your fucking mouth, nigga. Keep his girl's name out your fucking mouth, nigga. The fuck wrong with you new niggas? No respect having ass niggas, man. This new generation, y'all fucked up in the head, nigga. Stop disrespecting my nigga's name, man. This shit for real. My nigga died out here in these fucking streets, nigga. For the, doing the right motherfucking thing. Doing good for fucking people. And the first thing niggas want to do after his untimely demise is disrespect his fucking name. Nah, nigga. I ain't going for that. Keep my nigga's name out your... If I disrespect you, knowing under in any shape or form, I'm sorry. Even though I didn't. And rest in peace to dude. Y'all already know what I say. I said dude encourage me to do shit for the community. But anyhow, my bad to them two. But for all you other people like trying to fake act like y'all love boying me on the internet or checking me on the internet. That's how you feel, bro. That's how y'all want to feel. And I got a whole tour. Like, I'm in Georgia right now. Tomorrow I'll be in Norfolk, Virginia. Like, wherever y'all see me at, if that's how y'all feel. That's how y'all feel. Don't try to little boy me on no internet like, oh, motherfucker, motherfucker. Nigga, you could hit my line. All right, Miss Jello TV, how's everybody doing out there? So I thought this video was super interesting to me because I see a multitude of things going on right now, right? So Kodak Black made a smart remark to Lauren London pretty much on Instagram Live insinuating that he give her a little bit of time to grieve over her fallen soldier nipsey hustle who was killed a week ago today and he's like yeah i give her a year ago a year or so to grieve and then you know i treat her right all right and, and then again social media kind of took it and ran with it there was some more context as you watched his entire ig live the point is he shouldn't have been on ig speaking of lauren london in that type of term or that type of context at all period right They're like not this time for kodak to be doing it for instagram and the views and the likes or whatever like just not the time for you to be looking for clickbait opportunities for your name to be a headline you should not want to be the headline right now the headline in hip-hop is Nipsey Hussle, not Kodak, not Future, not 50 Cent. It should be about Nipsey Hussle and the great things that he did. For example, J. Cole just did a Dreamville Festival last night, and he played Nipsey Hussle uh, videos as a tribute while he performed Love Yours. It wasn't about Cole. It was about honoring Nipsey Hussle. It ain't about your personal stories and all that. It's about Nipsey Hussle, right? So I, th I think I see three things going on right now with Kodak's kind of halfway apology to Lauren London for what's going on. Number one, and I want to throw this out in the atmosphere, people are upset that someone killed Co uh, Nipsey Hussle. So obviously, people are playing the blame game. And anytime you see someone not be the utmost respectful to the fallen soldier or whoever it is, right, you're going to go at that person. Like, just at the time, like, you... We're mad. We're frustrated. And like T.I. in the game and a lot of other people, they easily took it out on Kodak because we're mad. We're mad. And, and he's the guy online that we want to take it out on. It's one thing to take it out on a dude who killed Nipsey, who's now behind bars and he ain't on social media talking about, you know what I mean? Like people are looking for somewhere to take it out on. And Kodak kind of became the scapegoat for it with that video. It's like, yo, you ain't being the utmost respectful. Forget you, nigga, and whatever you stand for, right? That's kind of how it felt to me, right? Like, like, that's the first thing I see going on. Second thing, and this is marginal, but I see the little boy who cried wolf with the game, all right? Game. And I know I'm not, I'm not trying to compare Nipsey to Kanye West by any means, but, yo, game, a lot of people out there are saying, you know, a lot of the pharaohs brought this up to me. They're like, yo, game, you, you, you're you pretty much calling out Kodak Black for being disrespectful to a friend of yours who was killed, but there are people who are friends of Kanye West out there and he's still alive and you decided to disrespect 
that man's wife by saying you had sexual affairs. Again, I'm not trying to compare what Kodak said to what the game said, but let's call a spade a spade. The only difference here is that Nipsey's going on, right? Because if you want to compare what people said, what the game said in this alleged rap son that's going to be on his new album is much more disrespectful than what Kodak said. Again, the difference being, and it's a big difference, Nipsey is no longer here with us. Rest in peace. But a lot of people are like, yo, game, you ain't the one to be coming to the defensive of Nipsey right now because if you follow Nipsey's principle and rules, you would. There's like a lot of old interviews of Nipsey that are kind of hitting the forefront. Game, you didn't follow your, your your homie's rules either. Your homie said, don't do it for the clickbaits because that shit don't last long. I'm summarizing here Nipsey's words, right? So a lot of people are like, yo, game, you mad at Kodak and he ain't right what he did, but it also ain't right what you said about. Some of your previous, you know, relationships and people that have moved on with their life. I'm just saying that that's being said on the internet right now. And I think the third thing that's going on today, which is probably more tragic than anything, because I think it speaks to the black male ego, right? Kodak, even in his apology, had to still put up this hard front. I said this in my videos late last night, early this morning that I made. Why do we feel as if, though, we got to be so damn hard, bruh? Like, who you proving you street to? I am trying to do get to the bottom of that, right? Like, why are we proving who's more street than who or who's from where than? I don't understand this concept, and I really am focused in. I'm zoned in on figuring this out, right? This is super interesting to me. Like, Kodak, fam, we know you from the streets. We know you hard. We know you the project baby. Even in your apology, you couldn't even get through your apology the entire way without saying yeah but this ain't for ti in the game i still got to show y'all that i'm hard. who cares bro you took away from the apology you know you apologize for your what you said that's all people asked of you to walk it back now the conversation is kodak black kind of apologize y'all dudes gotta be so hard at, at, at all times like yo who cares if ti in the game called you out whatever online who cares who cares if you said something wrong and other men called you out on it yes i would have liked for those men to have made a phone call to kodak overdoing it online i get it i get it right but who cares about being hard putting on this exterior that we he wants everyone to see yo y'all too concerned with being hard nowadays i know if something happened you'll pop you'll pull that, that let that banger go I, i'm not look trust me I get it, but why you gotta prove that to everybody? Cause we know what, what you're made of. We know you real, we get it. Thank y'all so much for the time, love and support. I don't take it for granted. Three things going on right there in that apology, halfway apology from Kodak to, to Lauren London. And um, you know, that he put in the atmosphere after he made some snarky re remarks about her. It just, all this is uncalled for. Number one, Kodak's getting a little venom from people who are already upset at this entire Nipsey situation. It's still fresh on people's mind. I mean, they, we, we haven't even laid them to rest yet. You know, it's funerals Tuesday. Number two, I'm looking at the game like, yo, bro, watch what you say going forward. You know what I mean? Don't you speak on other people and their relationships either, bro. And number three, Kodak, you don't got to be hard all the time, bro. It's, it's a time and place for that. You don't have to prove to the world that you're from the streets or you about that life. We get it. A lot of people in our community are about that life. Okay, okay so what are we gonna have? A whole world of people about that life? What does that solve? Well, what does that solve? Everyone's about that life pushed to a certain extent. You know what I mean? I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.